Okay, so in last week's video, I uh, I replaced this coolant temp sensor, and I saw that the the temp gauge was going crazy, like below C and everything. So I came to the conclusion that it's more than likely an issue with the thermostat, which is right in here. So what I'm going to be doing today is replacing the thermostat today, I'm going to re-blade the radiator, and hopefully it'll all work. So I actually went to AutoZone and picked this big ass oil drain pan just to do the coolant. Why is this so much thinner than it should be? Did you give me the wrong one? Anyway, so what I'm going to do is put this underneath the car use this oil drain pan as my new coolant catch system pop this right underneath here now step one is definitely going to be uh, removing the battery cable make sure you don't have any kind of issues with that now on, on some later model Escort ZX2's it, these three screws right here might be a Torx bit but on mine it's actually just a regular bolt Okay, so right here, these are 8mm bolts on 98 Escort. I'm going to take this uh, electrical connector off right here. Okay, so I actually ended up having to take this uh, connector off using a screwdriver. So what I did is I had this in here. I pressed down a bit. I put the screwdriver in to pry up this little clip a little bit more, and then I slid it, slid it right out. Now that I have this connector off, I can just move it out of the way just like so and begin to... Uh, remove said bolt so it should be an eight millimeter bolt right here okay so before i start to remove these bolts i'm gonna spray some wd-40 on them and let them sit for a few minutes just because i really don't want to break a bolt off inside there okay so the wd-40 has been sitting on here for about 10 or so minutes oh that wasn't too bad pretty easy there's one bolt Keep all of these in my pocket. So the issue is these two right here and then the other bolt is directly underneath that. If I use an extension, yeah, let's try that. Not gonna lie, this third bolt is really hard to get to. For WTF bro, would it be easier if I just pulled the radiator out? This should make it easier. Uh, this fan assembly off so I can get the proper access to the thermostat. Gives me a chance to also inspect this, make sure everything's good. Also, it looks like it's only being held in by two screws, which is also worrying me, but you know. Now I have much better access to that thermostat. There had to have been a better way of doing that. Like I. That can't be the only way. But, oh my god, it's so much easier now. Oh, coolant's coming out. Good thing I put that drain pan right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my thermostat was stuck open. That's probably the issue here. So this right here's the thermostat. Got the wrong O-ring, so I gotta go back and replace that. Probably seal it back up to make sure no bugs or something gets into it, so I gotta close that back up. This is the thermostat that we pulled out of the car. There's that one right there. And then this is the new one that's going in. Almost exactly the same. So now I gotta get this O-ring right here. So there are a couple pieces that aren't in this old thermostat that are in here, so hopefully this one will fix it and work. Okay, then we stick that one right back in. Now I was told that this is the gasket that goes over here. By the four by the AutoZone guy, so we'll see. Nope, I just wasted five bucks. Fuck it. Now this right here is a silicone sealant that is meant specifically for uh, water pumps and other gasket and thermostat housing gaskets.
Okay, so at this point I've got the, the new thermostat and everything's buttoned up when, and I'm going to start to bleed the cooling system. And now to do that, I have a very fun little tool I just got and it is called a spittleless funnel. Now this is meant to make this whole process of refilling the radiator much simpler. Step one is going to be to see which of the pieces that are supplied are the correct ones to fit on this here. So now that this is off, I find the right one which would fit on here, which appears to be this one. Next, I get the correct fitting that fits into here. Okay, so this right here is a spill-free funnel after it's set up. Okay, for me, I had an inter interesting issue when filling this up. What I was doing is I was using cap option B right here with the radiator fitting C. Now, that was the only option that fit inside this car. Now, the problem is when I would use radiator cap B with the insert option C, it still wouldn't be tight enough so what I ended up having to do is taking off the rubber o-ring from uh, insert option A placing that on top of this rubber washer inside of option C to get a snug tight fit making it actually be a spill free funnel so now that I've gotten that set up what I'm going to be doing is putting a decent amount of coolant in there Tearing the heater on to high. I'll put it a little bit more in there right now. And when you come inside the car, the climate control is set to the maximum heat position. Low blower, so I can test to make sure everything is going. So what I'm going to do now is start the car. Coolant is bubbling. Oh, look at the thermostat's opening up. It's got a new uh, temperature sensor, new thermostat, coolant system is bled. It's basically ready to be on the road, and we took it on a bit of a test drive. Well, no, we didn't because it doesn't have registration, but we took it around the block and temps were all good, nothing changed. The car seems to be pretty stable even under hard acceleration, hard braking. And now it is ready to be sold to my friend and out of this driveway. If you want to see more videos of other projects like that Volt which is coming up soon, uh, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more, well, you can click on the channel and watch more videos, but you can also subscribe, which I already said. So, actually, never mind. I'm going to end this video right now.